Hello. One of the questions I get asked the most, which I find quite surprising, but um, questions like, who painted your guitar? How did you paint your guitar? The answer is I paint my guitars myself, but a lot of people ask me, did you buy it like that? Who painted it? Where did you get it from? Blah, blah, blah. The answer is it's just a pretty normal guitar and I paint them myself. So since I had my strings off and I was doing a bit of painting, I thought, let you guys come and have a look. So please feel free to come and take a look. I won't spend too much time on this. Um, I just use really basic paints. These are just the cheapest you get from the supermarket or whatever. Students acrylic, Cairo Macryl, uh, Montmartre acrylic. So I guess they're acrylic paints. I've never really thought about it much. And if you look closely at the guitar, it only takes a few weeks or a month of playing for just sweat and touching skin oil, I suppose, to get this paint off. So you can see a bit of the actual wood there. So the paint is nothing serious. I think these things are like two or three bucks each here in Australia. Just kids paint basically. Um, I first started painting my guitars several years ago and the concept was I want them to look how I want them to sound, something like that. So I'd paint them in zany colors and cool, interesting colors and try to play them in a way that was worthy of that. Lately that's changed and they're a bit more personal and a bit more reflective. So for example, the deep greens of this, of this guitar represent the farm where I grew up, the deep green color of the trees and the color of the earth and things like that. And um, because Australia has had horrific bushfires lately, I'm going to paint over this kind of like roughly a bushfire kind of vibe. So as I said, very, also because I'm having a lot of new changes in my life lately, I wanna have some blue sky on the guitar because I'm looking forward to the next phase of my life and some really exciting things that are happening and large amounts of personal and hopefully professional growth. So there's gonna be some blue sky on this guitar. There's gonna be some charred earth from the place that has come before. And there's gonna be some fire and that's gonna go over this beautiful green. But then in the next round of painting, the green will start to shoot back. So there is some kind of loose story and some kind of loose personal um, imagery to this painting. It isn't random. It's kind of a little window into how I feel at the time. And as I say, Australia is having horrific bushfires at the moment, but the duality of that is that from the fire, from the fire comes new growth and comes life and the destruction of the fire is probably roughly equivalent to the new growth that comes through the forests and the natural world. So that's the rough concept of this guitar. As I said, I'm gonna kind of just do a little bit here and film it. I, um, I leave it to dry in between coats so you guys won't see the whole thing, but we can have a bit of fun at least. And as I said, probably I get asked about this more than I get asked about my guitar playing, which is kind of interesting. So this will be the blue sky and the white cloud. So this half is gonna be like a fresh new start. And then this half is gonna be like the, uh, the soil and the earth and the groundedness. The place here, kind of where my pick strikes, strikes the body is actually where um, the paint gets worn away the most. So that's a place I have to definitely, I'm very loose with my painting. I definitely am not precise. I like broad, crazy brush strokes. Um, I, obviously I take the strings off and this little bone bridge, which sits here when all the strings are removed, that will come loose. So you just keep that in a safe place. It's not hard to replace if you need to, but please don't lose it. Bit of charred earth there. I haven't really thought about how I'm gonna actually do the fire. I might just use a new brush to do the sky. Pretty loose stuff. I don't know if you're expecting, uh, I don't know if you're expecting any kind of professionalism or legitimacy here, but you've come to the wrong place if you were. As I said, the blue sky represents upcoming personal growth and also hopefully not just for the Australians, but all the people around the world that are experiencing fire at the moment. Fire is one of the most damaging elements, one of the most cleansing. So I'm having some big changes in my life, good and bad, um, happy and sad, and just let it burn, I suppose. But let it burn with a blue sky ahead. So just paint loosely around the pickup there. One of my painting things, which my girlfriend absolutely hates, is that I wear, I don't wear like uh, old clothes. I kind of wear my favorite clothes when I paint. And one of the reasons for that is that uh, it makes you more precise because you'll ruin a few sets of clothes painting and then you won't do it again. <laughs> so that's probably, that's probably 
piece of advice I follow that I don't expect you to follow, but it's like, wear one of your favourite shirts when you paint. Lose the shirt, and then um, you won't do that again in a hurry. Same, I don't put anything under the table. I know I'm going to get a bit of paint on the table. I know I'm going to get in trouble. And that's just part of the fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's filming, by the way, as well. So you might get in trouble too, just by association. All right, cool. I love to mix paint together. And now that we've kind of got the half and the half, let's put a bit of fire in there, a bit of actual fire. Fire. Um, yeah, I definitely don't know how to paint. So it's all just a bit of fun. And it's funny because when I do the, like the YouTube guitar lessons, I tell people not to try and play guitar like me, even though on the guitar I have many years of experience and many years of passionate effort. So while I am not really impressed with my own guitar playing, at least I have a foundation there. With this, I've got no freaking idea what I'm doing. So definitely don't listen to me about this. Painting, painting fire, obviously fire's violent, it's bloody. Let's just get some fire on there. I said I've been having some, some good times and some tough times, but either way, I'm gonna burn it all down. Burn it all down and start again. Um, just get some more bright colors, a bit of yellow. And yeah, I'm not gonna film this whole process. Oh Jesus, that is so much yellow paint. Um, that's way too much, and it's all over the table. So we're in trouble. But what I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Because I just had way too much yellow come out. I'm just gonna put it onto this other guitar, which I was planning to paint soon enough anyway. It's kind of a perfect, uh, if you could encapsulate the artistic or the creative process, that's probably it right there where you just spilt way too much paint. So everything I was planning on doing is out the window, but we still end up, just that was a tissue. Uh, everything I was just planning on doing has just gone out the window because I've just spilt all that paint everywhere. But now we've ended up with kind of one and a half paint guitars and it's actually starting to look kind of cool. So, I'm not going to keep this video going much longer, but you can see there, at least you got an insight into my thought process that there is some, um, some loose imagery and some loose concept. This is the fire. Next time I paint this thing, some green shoots, I hope will start to come through as, as the Australian bush regenerates from these freaking awful fires that we've had and as... I take this guitar on tour tomorrow morning. The band is meeting up to head north. We're here in Sydney now. Head up to Brisbane tomorrow. Drive most of the way tomorrow. Then finish driving the next day so we can play in Brisbane. Play in Brunswick Heads and play on the Sunshine Coast. In between, we're going to be crashing out in some Airbnbs or maybe with some friends. And um, finish writing our new album, which is going really, really well. We've been playing a lot of the new songs live, but there's still more that we haven't gotten just right yet. And I'm sure there's still more songs hiding somewhere from us that we need to find. So that thing just got an, a free undercoat because I spilled paint. Um, I love brush strokes. So just like crazy shapes of the brushes, the actual act of the brush touching the thing, I kind of like the textures. And this isn't too bad, so I'll probably, probably leave it there for now. Um, as I said, as that dries, I might do some things to it a little bit, but not too much. But I thank you, I thank you for stopping by and um, for the curiosity about the painting on the guitars. I find it quite unusual that anybody's interested, but since you say you are, there's five minutes of guitar painting. Maybe you want to paint your own guitar. Good luck. Don't get paint on the table. <laughs>